I would be remiss if we ended our opening episode of Our Line Starts without mentioning that one of our teammates announced his retirement recently, and that's uh, the love duck, Emmerich. It's just going to be very strange without having him a part of our telecasts, and I mean, really, uh, for the whole entire sports broadcasting world across the board in all sports, not having Doc being a part of the broadcast will be uh, a significant loss, and Edzo, no one will feel that loss more than you. Uh, can you just comment on Doc's retirement and, and what it's going to mean for you moving forward without him? Yeah, it was uh, it was a tough day, KT, when uh, when Doc uh, gave me the heads up that uh, you know that he was going to ride off into the sunset with his wife Joyce and the, the pups and the horses and uh, yeah, I knew I was around the corner, but I, I didn't realize that it was going to be uh, you know so soon. But uh, certainly, Doc is at peace, and that's all that matters. And uh, I'm going to miss him a lot. I'm going to miss obviously our time on the air and the broadcast and you know, the camaraderie and the trust that uh, had developed, uh, you know, over the 14 years that we were sitting next to one another or standing next to one another in some of the winter classics or uh, sitting in the booths. And, uh, you know, that March 11th, I didn't realize uh, sitting next to Doc at the, uh, at the United Center, uh, Chicago and San Jose on NBCSN on Wednesday night hockey would have been the last time that I ever sat next to Doc for a game. And, uh, you know, that's obviously when the, you know, that we were in the heat of the pandemic and, and hockey ended up shutting down. And then the rest of the games we did were, were far apart, but um, we're going to miss him. We're going to miss him a lot. Cause as we know, anytime we heard doc, uh, it was, uh, you knew it was an important broadcast and uh, mm -hmm. I'm happy for him. I'm happy for Joyce. And uh, we're going to try to carry on his legacy the best that we can. And um, you yeah, know, I've, I've reminisced a lot, KT and Jonesy, you know, you know, publicly and privately with, with Doc. And I'm always asked to, you know, tell a story and, and, and what have you. And I think for me, uh, having worked with Doc as long as I did, I, I think there was always that, in, it was always very intimidating to sit in chair next to Doc Emmerich because of, of who he was and what he stood for and, and, the, and the heights that he wanted to take the broadcast. And I think when I really felt when I arrived or I really felt like I was a part that I deserve to be in that chair, even though that, you know, I, I worked my way to getting into that opportunity is uh, Doc had said publicly, you know, that, uh, um, that he hopes that when Edzo, me, uh, turns uh, 65, is that he has somebody that takes care of him as he has taken care of me. And that's when I really felt that I had arrived and I had gotten the stamp of approval from uh, the greatest of all time. And I'm very proud of that. And we're going to miss him. And, you know, he's still going to be a part of our team. He's still going to be doing some special assignments and looking forward to seeing him and hearing him. And, you know, maybe slide him a, you know, maybe we can slide him a headset every once in a while, <laughs> maybe to jump in and, and give us one of those calls or, you know, the, the one of the most, I mean, look at, you know, we all have our favorite calls of Doc, but uh, for me, it's uh, any time that the puck would, uh, the puck would go off the iron and I would sit next to Doc and see him get so excited and so <laughs> amped up that the puck would hit the iron and Doc would just sit there and go, he hit the post with the shot! And I'd have to look over there to make sure that he was still breathing and making sure that he was okay because he would just emphasize that. So for me, I'm going to miss a lot of things, but, uh, you know, his friendship and his trust is something that uh, will be with me the rest of my life. Well said. We will miss him, but I, I do hope NBC has some special things planned, as you mentioned, uh, Edzo, with the special assignments he's going to do. But also, he deserves the proper send-off, and we didn't get a chance to do that, so hopefully we do.